Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to the Good News Sunday Show day by day. My name is Sonia McCullough Lockridge, and I am your host. And today, today we are looking at the keyword closet. We are looking at the keyword closet as it pertains to prayer in our year-long study of the importance of prayer study. The importance of prayer study in a year-long study, or shall I say 52 weeks or 52 segments or 52 segments in regards to prayer. And so that is the title. And then TIPS is the acronym for such. The year-long study of prayer, 52 weeks of TIPS. Yep, yes, the acronym. So today, today we're looking at the key word prayer. And the key word, I'm sorry, the Today we are looking at the keyword closet as it is as it is found in Matthew 6.6. 6. So what we are going to do firstly is we are going to look at Matthew 6 partly but not in its entirety because it is a rather long, lengthy chapter. So, looks like we're having some problems with our light. There, that is better. Okay, so, Matthew 6, 1. But our focus verse for today is Matthew 6, 6, wherein we find the keyword closet and or chamber. So, Matthew 6, 1. Take heed that you do not... Let me start over. Take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, you have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee as hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. This is Jesus speaking. This is Jesus speaking. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that thine alms may be in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray, standing in the synagogues, and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. And here is our focus verse. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father, which is in secret, and thy Father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathens do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. They think that they should be heard, shall be heard for their much speaking. But not ye therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things ye have need of before you ask, before ye ask. After this manner therefore prayest our Father which art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. So once again, our focus verse is Matthew 6, 6. But thou, when thou prayest, enter in thy closet... And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to the Father which is in secret, 
and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. So this verse plainly tells us, plainly tells us that we do not need a prayer closet. A prayer closet is not necessary. A war room is not essential. A prayer closet for prayer, a prayer closet is not necessary. A warm or war room is not essential. Let me say that again. A prayer closet is not necessary for effective prayer. And a war room is nonetheless essential. You need not a prayer closet nor a war room to for your prayers to be effective and or fervent. Those, those two things are not needed. There is no need for any type of physical space for our prayers to be heard by our Father in Heaven. So, you say, Sonia, Sonia, how, to, how in the world do you come to that conclusion? Well, I come to that conclusion because the meaning of the word closet in this verse means not closet. What it means in this verse is chamber. The meaning of the word closet in this verse is chamber. Chamber. And that, the Greek meaning of that word can be found on Blue Letter Bible. And it is Greek. And we can, we can take a listen. Let's listen. I think I turned them off. Strong's G 5009. Tamayon. 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 Strong's G 5009. Tamayon. 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 And what Tamayon means in the Greek is a dispenser. A dispensary, a dispenser is what it means in the Greek. So the point of tamayon in the Greek is to distribute or to dispense things. So let me ask you, what other chamber do we know of that acts as a dispensary within the body of a believer? Well, that is the heart. There are in our heart, there are upper and lower chambers. So, it is a heart position. Prayer is a heart position. It is a posture of our heart. This chamber that Jesus is speaking of in 6-6, six, six, Matthew 6-6, six, six, is not a physical closet, but the chamber of our heart. <clears throat> and with that, that, ver that, that keyword chamber or closet can be found three other times in the text, wherein it also means chamber. So that is what the keyword closet means in the sixth chapter of the book of Matthew. No, I'm sorry. <clears throat> In Matthew 6, 6. Matthew 6, 6. So, derivative of a dispenser or distributor. And the heart is a chamber that distributes blood flow throughout the body. And yes, yeah, so that is what the keyword closet means in Matthew 6, 6. And I may have said that more than one time. And we can look to vines. How I came about that is I looked in my vines expository dictionary of biblical words. And chamber, right here, 5009, denotes firstly, any private room or secret chamber, inner chamber, closet. That is what it means in the Greek. And also, I looked that word up in the Strong's 
exhaustive concordance as well. So, okay. So, for our prayers to be effective, it's about the heart, the posture of our heart in regards to the Lord God Almighty. It is not about whether or not we have a war room. It is not whether about whether or not we have a prayer closet. It is not about a designated physical space, but it's more in regards to a spiritual position of the heart. So I hope this helps. I hope this helps those of us who who may not have a room for a prayer closet or a war, war room. I hope we do not think that that is a necessary tool for our prayers to be effective. So this is the reason why I have focused on this today because I don't want us to be misguided or to believe in a myth that a physical space is necessary for effective prayer wherein the Lord God Almighty is looking at our heart. So that's all I have for us today. And this is Sonia McCullough Locker signing out for the Good News Sunday show day by day. And it's like I always say, we still have time. We still have time as long as we have the breath of life pumping our bodies, pumping through our bodies, and the interest and the accuracy. We still have time to align this, our one life, with the holy and mighty word of God. We still have time. Thank you and have a blessed day in the Lord.